Hello, welcome to Turnip Games. I'm Mark. I'm Rob. We're playing more Dark Cloud for PS2. For more PS2. More PS2 action. Here Ooh, you go. Here's a good full A nice level. girthy level for you guys. All that bang for your buck. That slime for your time. <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> um, layer 6. Layer 6. Yeah, they're called Not layers. Not floor, layer. It's like a... Uh, like those oh strawberry God, wafers. Have to, like, those boxes of them, they sell for like a dollar. I love it. Yeah, they're just pretty much processed plastic with sugar. I don't know about you, but I love prefab food. It's pretty okay. Just nasty, shitty stuff that stereotypical American just, just like Oreos and shit. I love it. McDonald's, whatever. I'm not huge on McDonald's. No, but, I'm not huge. You know. I just... I'll guzzle. Whoa, what are you? A what are you? What are you? He poked you pretty hard. Looks like he's a bitch. I'll give him that. He did poke me pretty good. He wiggled. I liked it. Like a scumbag. Uh, mimic or not? No. You can't say no after you push the button. Uh, uh, I, I was... Tra yeah, trans feather. Yeah, I was not aware that I was going to have to answer that question. Hmm. Okay, so I was just talking about Toriyama, and we finished our oh, conversation off camera, something. really. Yeah. <laughs> uh, should I... Yeah, go back through that. That'll help. I guess, yeah, because it sounds like we really just cut off on that. Um, yeah, Toriyama's kind of fucking up Final Fantasy. Look into it if you really want. I don't want to do the full rant again. But he's the one pushing Lightning, and it's fine if you like Lightning, but Lightning doesn't need this many games centered on her. No. When the series is hurting and when they need some sales. That being said, Square Enix had a positive year large enough to cancel out their last negative. Good. Right almost to the dot, too. Like, within really? within a million or something. Oh, nice. Pretty close. Uh, um, so, do you see this new guy, Toriyama? He's not really new. Well, 2003. New. Yeah. Um, do you see him overturning good decisions in the company? Yes. Yeah, uh, he has a position of a lot of power. That's kind of the issue. Is that he's he's up near the top and he really shouldn't be and uh okay you're good. Hey, I can upgrade. Full ABS. Yeah, and he's they made a because Final Fantasy wasn't doing great, so they made the, this committee that's uh -oh. like the top guys where they have meetings like weekly or something yeah. to make sure everything's on track. They compare it to old games, make sure it's like a comparable feel to the old games and whatnot. Yeah. Problem is Toriyama's on the team. <laughs> Oh, God. Because they're trying to pull it back from all the fuck-ups that he's been making. But they can't explicitly say, Toriyama, You're the fuck-up. You're the fuck-up, so don't come to the meeting. Mm -hmm. They're like, we need all the top guys. Toriyama, get in here. And it's like, uh... Maybe there's some people out there who really love Toriyama games, but the overwhelming majority is that almost every game he's had a big hand in has been the ones that people complain. That you hear shit. Yeah. Um, and I hate for it to be that way, and I, you know, I'm, I'd really like to be hype on everyone that's at Square Enix, and I'm sure he's a good enough business guy to get where he is. Yeah, yeah. He's got some qualifications. I just like to see him really, you know, apply it better. Do more. Apply it better uh. to my favorite one of used to be my favorite series. Um, Zelda's overtaken it recently. It's it's. You know, it's really passing the baton forward while Final Fantasy's not. Yeah, I definitely feel like Legend of Zelda is, while they ignore Majora's, um, really it's advancing as a an IP for it, as old as it is. It's progressing it's, as an IP, yeah. It's not stagnant. It's not stagnant by any means. So we got a prison. There's nothing worse than dormant IPs. I so here we're going to read what this one does. Funds increased. Fantastic. I'm okay with that. The, uh, just the term dormant IP disgusts me. Yeah. When a company sits on something and I know they don't have enough money, you know, to Sometimes make it just... a sequel in every series that they own. Yeah. But for like Banjo and Dark Cloud, Dark Cloud yeah. is the epitome of a dormant IP. They didn't <laughs> end it. It's just sitting there. It so, could be doing things. It could be doing things and it probably would do okay. Yeah. But Nintendo yeah. writes bigger checks for Professor Layton. Am I getting that name right? Even is it Layton? I am. I don't even know. I don't. To me, that's like a kiddie game. I don't. It, I don't it know. is a very young. Is it? Is it yes. like a learningish game? Mm. Not quite. Kind of like the Lego series. In that, mm. is it in the realm of like the Lego series games? Almost. 
Not the genre, I mean the... Yeah. The the target age and audience. I, I, yeah. Definitely not core gamers, like hardcore. It's a... Fucker! More of a casual target audience. Definitely, yeah. Okay. I've never um, even had hands-on time, so I can't talk I, trash. I'm definitely not. i some, you know... It actually has, like, some movies and shit. Oh. Yeah, it's um, pretty... The, the new one's based on a mask, which made me happy. Oh. <laughs> I like masks. <laughs> I've heard. I, I like to toss it in in every episode. <laughs> and you helped me bring it up this time. But, yeah, Zelda's really, really kicking. And, uh... I'm, yeah, I definitely I'm, feel good, you know, consuming that IP as a new player, and, and that my enjoyment is not going to be short-lived. You have so much to go back on as well. Yeah, I do. You have 25 plus years to fill in. Mm -hmm. um, which, I could say the same for Final Fantasy, but the last 13 or so are negligible. <laughs> so, uh, you've got maybe... The single-digit games are... The single-digit games are godlike. With the exception of two. So let's see what I don't does. like two. Mm, decreased. Yet again. But it's, it's 80. Oh, it's just for the duration of the level. Oh, okay. Because you're at 89 again. Sweet. That's nice. But I thought the increases were permanent. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, Yeah, the single digits, and I believe nine. Maybe, maybe it just decreased the amount. <sighs> I don't know. Maybe that would just decrease the amount we have. But 9 is my favorite, and as well as I believe to be the last really great Final Fantasy, 10 was fine. Yeah. Just not a favorite. It didn't have the same feel for me. That's when I didn't... I didn't feel like I did as a kid anymore. I felt like I noticed I'm playing this series, and they're trying yeah. to make it feel like Final Fantasy. I felt the trying. Yeah. The try-hard came through. Whereas 9 is... I believe has the best pacing of any game I've played. Mm -hmm. The story and the amount of development they managed to put into seven characters at once. <laughs> this game's got great pacing, but like no development. Zelda yeah. has very good pacing as well, and Link just goes... He doesn't and speak fucks. his mind or nothing. In the beginning, he just fucks into the scene, and in the end, he just fucks off. <laughs> he doesn't really develop. I mean, he develops into like a hero. He gets stronger, yeah, but... Yeah. He doesn't change his mannerisms or anything. No. Nine has such good segments to it, like one of your characters becoming the queen mm. and all this stuff. Like, it's huge changes, and they got to deal with it. They're happy-go-lucky adventurers. Now you're the queen, and the rest of them are still, you know, thieves and, and just adventurers and stuff. And she's like, hey, I can't hang out with thieves now. I'm the queen. And it's like, you know, big yeah. shit happens. Yeah. Um... I got free one of those, so I can use that. I even like eight more than seven. Yeah. I don't dislike seven. It's just the... it's in my top three, but it's the it's bronze. Yeah. Um, I think I'm just a little. I think I'm. If I was I'm two years older, enough to go to the next floor. Yeah, do it. If I was two years older, maybe, mm -hmm. and then it'd blow my mind more. But I saw it a few years after the fact. Yeah. Like '99, I believe I played it for the first time. Layer seven. Ooh, lucky number seven. You're lucky this wasn't a limited floor. <sighs> what was that, rubies? Rooties. Rooty. Rooty. Uh, how much of the single digits have you played? A little eight with me. Well, what is this guy? Doesn't matter, he's dead. Yeah, I wasn't, like, gonna give him a chance to beat me up or nothing, but... Curse just means you can't change your weapon? Yeah. Well, that just doubles Helps your resolve. <laughs> More resolute. You're just getting huge ABS from these guys. Yeah. I mean, huge in comparison to how giant the bar is. Mm -hmm. You're getting jumps that I can see. Sweet. Um, Hers is getting close. Also, my team in 9 is just filthy. <laughs> Got this thing called the Blood Sword in, like, Disc 1, I think? Yeah. Or no, early in Disc 2. And it heals you for every point of damage you take. It's not a percent. It's... I have Steiner hitting 2k, and he's healing 2k... Oh. And there's bosses that only hit me for a hundred. <laughs> That's disgusting. So, yeah. And then when he trances, he's healing 6k. It's just stupid. That's nuts. Um, that reminds me of, like, just the broken stats. Or broken uh, combos. Uh, oh, I the broken combos and bravely default. Water. 
Do you want to explain it again? Well, I, I'll stop cutting in and just let you explain. I... alright. Will you um, be able to while you do this? Probably. Um, so... Wait, do I have that key? Let me check if I have that key first. I do not no. have that key. You have a lot um, of <laughs> I don't think that's gonna work this time. I'll try next time. So there's the level out. Um, so in Bravely Default, you know, job system. Uh, and two jobs in a, a certain combination create an untouchable combo. Uh, which combines the classic FF job Time Mage with a slight variation called the Valkyrie. Which is just a variation off of a Lancer or a Dragoon. Yeah. He pokes hard. He does. He pokes real nice. Um, Watch your weapon HP. Yeah. Um, so you, uh... You get your time mage up to maximum. You level them up all the way. And you only need that on one character. And the characters get these passives, you know, we call them support abilities. Um, support class. Support, no, support ability. Uh, so, you give them the max support ability from time mage, which is called Hasten World. And if you don't know about Bravely Default, you can use future moves now to do more damage now, but then while your moves are recuperating, you have to sit there and take it. Um, so it gets really inconvenient if you've got, like, glass cannons. Cause yeah, you can you can do your full combo and just do fuck tons of damage now, instead of waiting a turn or two and maybe getting interrupted. But then you have to sit around and you can get up to four turns in the negative, uh, where you just bloody sit there and you stare at it while you take damage. While you take damage. While your teammates take damage. While you know you've got status effects. Um, and that's interesting in that... Do you particularly like it, or would you rather a more classic? I'm I'm good with it. I like it. Yeah, I guess you haven't had as much time with a uh, classic ATB system. Yeah. Um, uh, I can't stand anything that's not ATB. <laughs> I can't. I didn't understand it. I read the whole tutorial. I just didn't know how to use the damn battle. I couldn't fight. Yeah, I remember. I was you like, were having trouble. I was like, when does he move? And it's like, he's not. You and have then, to pick all your and attacks. And then you've for got everyone. bravely second, which I kind of feel weird about using, because if you just put your uh, 3ds in sleep mode, you will gain points of. Where the fuck is this chest? It's in the corner here. Keep uh, rotating. No, there was one that was weird. Um, I think that was the treasure on the floor. Yeah, it was, and it just had a really weird spot. Um, so, every eight hours you get a point of Bravely Second. While your 3DS is in sleep mode. Yes. So then, at any time, during any battle, you press start. Even during the enemy team? Mm-hmm. Enemy team's moves? Yep. You can just any time. Any time you want. You press start. And you go into Bravely Second, which stops time and allows you to use points of Bravely Second. Now, as some uh, classic RPGs have, there is a limit to how much damage you can do. That is 9,999. Until you hit Bravely Second. Then you can break through the, the uh, damage cap, as well as healing. You can only heal 9,999. Um, but... <sighs> that just seems dumb to me. Like, the you're rewarding me for walking away from the game? You're rewarding me for not playing and now I can just win for free? Yeah. I think the idea there is that if you quit playing, like maybe you're butt mad or something and then it yeah, helps you yeah. get past whatever you're stuck on. But then if you can't play it on a game that has a variable difficulty setting <laughs> yeah. and you can set yeah. it to easy and you still can't beat it, then trade the game back in at GameStop. Like, Jesus Christ. Like, you shouldn't be playing. 
just T for Tina if you're like 12 years old and it's fine if you're 12 I can play it when I was 12 yeah but if you can't then don't play it wait a while or something I guess That's apparently just wait eight sorry. hours maybe you'll grow up by then and learn t that cheating makes you feel good it's not cheating it's a built-in mechanic but to me that's cheating shit what'd you do I just used that for no reason mm. I need mm, metal stone blah, 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 blah. I need holy and fire and I don't have anything to give it is it ready to it. level up no I already leveled up but now so I just put on like C it. for now because you're fighting fuck tons of them yeah then we're gonna have to do fishing later just to goddamn do something yep uh, Trading some of those fishing points. You do have a good number, I think. I think so. I, I know I have en enough for at least one plate. And this stop thing is really great. What um, is it? I can't... Stop. What? It, it's, a, uh, it's a stun. Oh, okay. It's just the stop status effect. Yeah, just... Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it's not, it's not a freeze, it's not a stun, it's not a slow, it's just... You stopped. It stops your animations. Stew. I acquired stew. Uh, I wonder how he's doing. Um, you were explaining. So, uh, Bravely Second. Speaking uh, of Bravely Second, then I looked it up, and Bravely Second also happens to be the name of Bravely Default sequel. Which is a thing already. Well, okay, Bravely Default came out in like 2010 or 11 in Japan. Yeah. So they've had time, and it's a 3DS yeah, game. Yeah, it's I mean, not even a console. Yeah, that's me coming from. I bought it on launch day in NA. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but in the scheme of things, that's it's about time for a game that sold that well. Yeah, but is it the yeah. JP release or the NA release of Bravely Second? What's your question? You said, "Is it the JP release?" What does that mean? Th this announced. Bravely second. Well, it's always a JP release first. Yeah, but how long do I have to wait? There's not even a release day. Oh. Not that I saw. Oh, I can damn it. I've got a free one there. Um. That makes me sad, because it's good. I'm gonna I'm gonna look it up for you. I appreciate that. Was there a personal favorite part in the may the first half of the game. We'll consider first half as a non-spoiler. Um probably going back to uh keep shopping shit lord. Yeah. Get more cheese. Yes. Just probably going back to Idea's hometown and seeing her mom and fighting her dad. And having that whole thing go down, where Idea literally makes the choice to probably kill her mom. Or at least make her live not as comfortable of a life as she would have if she just let them keep doing what they were. That's super vague. I'm trying to leave as much of it up to people to Going play Going back through. to Idea's hometown is your favorite? Yes. Wow. And the things that happen there. Um. Okay. Is an upcoming Japanese role playing game, Bravely Second, is an yes. upcoming Japanese role playing game developed by Silicon Studio and Squeenix for the 3DS. It is the sequel to Bravely Default. I know it's Bravely. I got a fish. I just call it Bravely. Holy shit! It's a blowfish! Bon. Game 17 game. points, fuck yeah! As early as December 2012, talks of a sequel to Bravely Default arose. Yo, what else can I fish with? Like, nothing. The game was officially announced as Bravely Second in December 2013. Nice. So it's, it's new news. No release... Upon announcement, the game's only announced platform is the 3DS. No releases outside of Japan or in other languages have been announced. The game Come is on. approximately 30% complete as of December 2013. I mean, how did Bravely Default release do NA? Great. Incredible. Yeah! Well, they haven't... Okay, the game's been announced for two months. There's Tales games that came out two years ago that just got their announcement. I know, but I don't want to wait that long. You might have to wait two years past release to get an announcement. I know. Which, since it's only 30% now, could be a year years. and a half till release, then two years to... Uh, see how I here. feel. Being 
JRPG guy, it fucking sucks. So I just have TJ translate all my games. Yeah. TJ, get to work. I want to play Tales of Zillia 2. I'll give you chickens. <laughs> give you a watermelon. <laughs> a square one. Are they super expensive? Yes. <laughs> Square water. Okay, that's enough fishing. No! I need to use this. Fish off camera. Fine! Any episode! Fine! Fuck you! Fuck you! <laughs>